हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल In this video I'll be analyzing how to do a perfect capsule rexis using the forceps. So let's begin the video and one of the important question asked is what is the choice of OVD. So if we use dispersive OVD with chondroitin and hyaluronate the advantage is that the anterior chamber is well maintained but the disadvantage is that it's expensive. We can also use cohesive OVD with hyaluronate of different percentages. and again advantage is the anterior chamber is maintained but it's expensive apart from that you need to use dispersive agent again to protect the endothelium you can also use dispersive 2% hpmc it's least expensive but you need to be careful about ac maintenance as it tends to leak easily if the incision is pressed down so here i am using haldipurkar capsule rexis forceps it's a cross section forceps which is useful because you tend to create less pressure on the incision i am just going to show how i created the capsule rexis here and just think whether this is the perfect capsule rexis that i want by using forceps what do you think now let's analyze once i place the iol in the bag after doing the feco in this case you will find that the capsule rexis is too large here and you can see that the optic is not completely covered by the capsule rexis age and it's much larger than what we generally aim for so let's analyze and see whether we can have a perfect capsule rexis using capsule rexis forceps now here the capsule rexis forceps used through the main incision we can also use micro capsule rexis forceps through small side port incision which i will show in other videos now we can also mark the ccc using capsule rexis marker just the press it on the epithelium we can use varion or callisto markerless system or we can do a mental marking like what i am doing here the 11 mm is the size of the cornea so half of it is what i want to have the perfect capsule rexis which is around 5.25 mm so always hold the tearing edge closer and pull 2 to 3 clock hours and again regrab so don't hold it far away and also after every tear that you make or every forward that you make again mentally analyze whether it is within that circle again hold it closer to the tearing edge grab and then pull for 2 to 3 clock hours again analyze whether it is within that imaginary 5.25 mm circle which uh, i am showing on the screen always keep on doing this again and again so every 2 to 3 clock hours again you have to regrab hold it closer to the tearing edge pull for 2 to 3 clock hours and again regrab now here i made a mistake you can see i continue to pull beyond 3 clock hours and the capsule rexis goes out of the circle the referee goes a red card here and it continues to go out of the circle now and that's why i got a much larger capsule rexis than what i intended so once you understand these principles that always grab the tearing edge pull it for 2 to 3 clock hours now very very important thing to understand is that writing comments to appreciate the effort of making a teaching video is the greatest virtue of all so keep commenting keep liking and keep smiling thank you so much